What's going on everyone? This is Crypto Nick and today we're going to talk just a little bit about inflation and then a couple of other things that I kind of seen going on in the crypto space that was just like, oh, that's pretty interesting. But anyway, so recently the inflation rate in uh, the US uh, was like, what, 9.1%. Um, that came out not too long ago. And it's good that we just kind of um, see this for what it is. You know, a lot of people, um, you know, they, they don't really see the bigger picture of inflation. You know, a lot of people, when they go to their technical analysis, they're basing a lot of their opinions based upon like previous like chart history. But the thing is, and it's key to note that we're not in the same world as we were back then. Certainly global and a macro scale macroeconomics really applies when it comes down to price action, whether it be in stocks and bonds, whether it be in in cryptocurrency or anything financial related. You know, um, we're, we're looking at some really hard times uh, coming here soon just because of everything that's going on in the world um, with the pandemic, with, you know, the things in Russia. I mean, world events are really taking a hold of an individual's finances, right? Um, you know, the, the, you know, the price per barrel in, in oil and crude oil. I mean, the list goes on as to why we're going to see such pretty, you know, pretty hard hits. As a matter of fact, companies like Google are currently warning their employees of a of a reduction in their force. I think they uh, they quoted something around 20 percent, you know, uh, Coinbase as well. And other crypto exchanges are also bracing for impact here for um, unfortunate events that are going to happen because of the economic um you know issues that are going to occur that being said we don't really know how difficult and how hard these things are going to hit the economy so it's you know it's apparent that it could be substantial okay so do yourselves a favor or, and and you know prepare for these kinds of things make sure you have reserves or whatnot that you can you know utilize to feed your family and to make sure you guys are financially set up um, never financial advice, of course, but just know that these are things that are being discussed in a lot of different spaces um, in humanity, right? Um, now, aside from the uh, inflation FUD, just want to go ahead and uh, show you guys a couple of things. Um, Hong Kong Central Bank crypto is likely to be important for future financial system. Really, really bullish kind of news for cryptocurrency as a whole for the next bull uh, bull run where you have the Central Bank of Hong Kong speaking about crypto being important for future financial um, system kind of applications, right? Um, you know, they said, despite the Terra, Luna, the Terra Luna incident, I think crypto and DeFi won't disappear, though they might be held back because the technology and the business innovation behind these developments are likely to be important for our future financial system. And that's what you said. Um, all right, let's go to the next one. So in terms of cryptocurrency, um, it recaptures the $1 trillion market cap after Bitcoin hits about 22,000 per Bitcoin. Okay. And ETH giga mooning. Interesting kind of development there. Awesome that we're able to, to recapture that $1 trillion market cap because that was really a, uh, a milestone for all of cryptocurrency. One trillion dollars in crypto is pretty significant. Really awesome that uh, we were able to do that. And then going to the Three Arrows Capital, the co-founder filed a five million dollar claim against its own firm while on the run. Oh man, that must be insane. Um, Three Arrows Capital, they're not really doing. Uh, any justice for anyone who has been um, operating within their ranks, but they're turning on their own. Horrible thing for the co-founder to file a $5 million claim against his own company. Yikes. Times are tough, guys. Really, they are. But anyway, that's it all I got for, uh, for this episode. Yeah, just go ahead and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like the content. Let us know down below what exactly you want to know next. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm Crypto Nick, and enjoy the rest of your day.